Today, in our ongoing series of reducing the confusion in gynecology, I want to talk to you a little bit about bleeding in menopause. Bleeding in menopause is never normal. In fact, third-year medical students are taught that any bleeding, staining, or spotting in a menopausal patient, I don't get nervous, is cancer until proven otherwise. Um, it must be evaluated. The good news is that only maybe 5% of people who bleed in menopause will have uterine cancer. That means 95% don't. But we must evaluate a patient. In the old days, this was an automatic DNC, dilatation and curatage in the operating room. Uh, many people still do these blind biopsies, but they have been much maligned as not being accurate enough. We're now using ultrasound, something that I developed in the early 1990s to look at the uterine lining. And if it's nice and thin in people who have bled, uh, then no further workup is necessary. But one of the problems is as many as 35 or 40% of postmenopausal women will have a lining that we just don't see well enough on ultrasound. Uh, it may be because they have old fibroids or they have a thing called adenomyosis, a benign finding, usually related to childbearing. Or the uterus may be in an angle where you just don't see well enough with the beam of sound. It doesn't mean it's abnormal. And for those patients, we resort to a technique called saline infusion sonohysterography. It's where we put a little bit of saline into the uterine cavity to push the front and back wall apart and see the endometrial contents, the uterine lining, with almost microscopic precision. It's something that I've helped to champion, and in fact, the catheter is called a Goldstein catheter. So if you or any of your relatives or friends have any bleeding, staining, or spotting, in the menopausal years, please contact me or your doctor because this really must be evaluated. Again, yours in health, I remain Dr. Goldstein.